Good morning, everyone. I'm Jane, and today I'll be presenting research conducted on heavy metal contamination in the Paraíba do Sul River, specifically in Volta Redonda, Brazil. This important study was carried out by a team from the Geraldo de Biasse University Center, examining critical environmental concerns in one of Brazil's major waterways. The Paraíba do Sul River has a significant historical context that's crucial to understand. Located along the Rio São Paulo axis, this river has been at the center of South America's economic development. However, this development has come at an environmental cost. Of particular concern is the middle Paraíba region, especially in Volta Redonda, where a concentrated industrial park poses significant contamination risks particularly from heavy metals. The research objective was straightforward but crucial, to analyze heavy metal concentrations in the Paraíba do Sul river waters within Volta Redonda using atomic absorption spectrometry. These results were then compared against Kanama 357-2005 legislation standards, providing a clear regulatory framework for assessment. The methodology combined qualitative and quantitative approaches. Looking at these images, you can see the three key stages of the process. In Figure 1, we see the sample collection process in Volta Redonda. Figure 2 shows the crucial sample preparation at the collection site, and Figure 3 displays the prepared samples ready for analysis. The team used a Pinnacle 900T atomic absorption spectrometer from Perkin Elmer conducting all experimental tests at the UGB Chemistry Laboratory in Volta Redonda. The results revealed significant concerns. The river faces multiple challenges from pollutants, including untreated sanitary and industrial effluents. As shown in Table 1, when compared to Konama Legislation 357-2005, several heavy metals were detected at concerning levels. Particularly worrying is the presence of lead and nickel, which pose significant risks to both human health and the ecosystem. Figure 4 shows solid waste from ore processing on the riverbank, which may be contributing to these contamination levels. While iron presence was noted, it's less toxic, but still impacts water quality. Cobalt contamination was also identified as a concern due to its potential adverse effects in high doses. In conclusion, this study revealed significant metal contamination in the Paraíba do Sul River waters. Most concerning was the detection of lead exceeding regulatory tolerance limits. The presence of solid waste from mineral processing along the riverbanks in Volta Redonda requires immediate intervention and assessment, as lead's bioaccumulative properties pose serious risks to both environmental and human health. These findings call for urgent action to address these contamination sources and protect this vital water resource. This research was supported by comprehensive literature review, including studies from Ambiente Brasil, recent analyses by Costa et al., 2022, on microplastic prevalence, and follows CONAMA legislation guidelines. The complete reference list is available in our paper for those interested in exploring these sources further. Thank you for your attention.